Hey guys, welcome back to AFK Journey. In today's video, I want to have a chat. We've got some, what I consider to be exciting events coming up that I want to go through. Uh, I want to talk about the Asia launch and what it could mean for the current uh, players of the game. I'm pretty excited about that one. Hopefully we get some stuff. I want to talk about uh, why we have Ludovic being a four-week banner or 27 days instead of our standard three weeks, 21 days. Um, then I also want to talk about who I think, or not who I think, who I think most most people are expecting the new character to be after Ludovic and why I think it might not be that character, but I just want to have a general chat about basically the the near future of the game and my thoughts around it. So let's get into the first thing, which is the Ludovic banner. So I'm going to bounce over here because I didn't actually record the summon screen. Uh, so massive shout out to Barry. I'm just yoinking his video here uh, to get this out, uh, which is, you can see he, this is his summons from the day it released, where it's 26 days and 23 hours. Massive shout out to Barry. So you can see that is why we have the 27 days. Now, the reason I believe that is happening is so that when they finish this banner, uh, this banner is actually going to finish and if we bounce back over here we'll just jump into mine so i can show you guys uh i believe they've done this so that this banner finishes bang on the uh the asian launch for the game so as you can see we've got 20 days and 20 hours which by my calculations depending on time zones and stuff like that that brings us to uh the 8th of august which if we then bounce back over here and take a look uh this is the jp twitter uh which this is the jp app store which gives us an estimated date of august 8th this is going to be the indonesian app store which is southeast asia which gives us august 8th this one over here is going to be uh this is the billy billy version so this is the chinese version of it and you can see down here i've translated to english all their comments um bu -bu 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 for testing august 8th and all the replies they basically Basically say August 8th is when it's coming. Uh, so you can expect to see August 8th is when the launch is going to be for the Asia region of the game. That's going to be, like I said, I don't know every region exactly. I know Indonesia, like, so basically Southeast Asia, Japan, uh, China getting it. Now, I know with China, normally their games are completely different builds. You can see it's a different icon, all that sort of stuff. Uh, they run it through Billy Billy. It's completely different. I don't know what's going to happen with um, things like the Indonesian and Japanese uh, uh, versions whether those players are just going to go into our actual version of the game and just jump onto new servers and continue or whether they're going to be different builds of the game i have seen some games where they do put like uh, japanese servers inside the game anyway so i'm not too sure exactly how it's going to work so we'll have to wait and see but you can expect that it'll be similar now where will they jump into the game and this is going to what's be, be what leads me on to my next topic that i want to talk about which is the next character. So as we established, I do believe that Ludovic is going to end and then we're going to get the Asian launch for the game. So they're going to have a new character launch with the basically Asian launch of the game. And we're all going to get that at the same time. And that's why I think Asia launch will jump into our current build of the game. I don't think they're going to go like a day one build that we had. Uh, I just don't think that happens because there were so many bugs. I feel like they've been ironing out all the bugs with us so that now they can get it smoothed out for the next season. Asia launch comes, they get one new character that runs through for a three-week banner, and then they move straight into the new season along with us. That is what I am expecting. Once again, this is not confirmed. This is just more sort of the theories that I have. So when we look to Mikola, who I'm pretty sure that was her name, who I know there is a lot of people excited about this character and want this character to come, I don't think she really makes sense as being the next character when we consider that I think a lot of people like this character because they've played her in the story, like they they've got they got to her in the story and stuff like that. I could be wrong. You guys let me know. But for that reason, with Asia launch and the first banner coming with Asia launch, if it's a character that doesn't have a, a, as much just broad attachment possibilities, I feel like they might actually run a different character. Now, hopefully that means we can get her during a different season. I also somewhat think that Ludovic was maybe a, a rush decision to release him to global because people wanted a Greatborn support. I don't know, because he didn't really fit into the season. Um, like, almost kind of felt like he slotted in okay. Uh, Taylene, they at least had a story to make, make her fit. Whereas Ludovic just kind of plonked in and they said, we'll have a story later. So I'm not too sure. But once again, 
that's just for, for me to say, like, if if Mikola doesn't come this as the next hero, she still has, like, the possibility to come. So don't don't lose all, out all hope, people. But like I said, I don't know if she is going to be the next hero just because of that fact that we are looking, they are looking to do, a, like, a hype launch with the Asia release of the game. Uh, and I think maybe they're going to go with a more generic hero that people haven't because those people haven't had the chance to fall in love with that character through the story or anything like that. So I think they, they, they'd be more looking to go with a generic, cool, probably, and, and, and I don't want to say it, probably a powerful hero because with Asia launches, uh, the Asia regions are more welcoming to spending. And I know people hate talking about spending, but at the end of the day, I could see this being the chance that they have to put a really powerful hero in as the banner hero for the release of the Asia launch of the game. And it actually gets me into thinking that maybe this is why we've had so many, uh, like, so, you know, not crazy character releases because maybe they've been waiting for the Asia launch of the game, because that's where a lot of these games do make a big bit of revenue. Maybe they've been waiting for that before they have the stronger characters so that they've got a bigger spender base in the game. I don't know. Once again, these are just all theories by me, but maybe that could be it. So I am hoping that with the uh, launch of the game coming in the Asia regions being China, Southeast Asia, Japan, and stuff like that, I'm really hoping that that brings a couple things. One, characters that I get excited for pulling for. Don't get me wrong. Tailing gave me so much fun in the game. I know a lot, a lot of people wouldn't pull for her because you've already gone for Rainier and she's not as meta as Rainier for free to play. But she, I've had so much fun in the game since Tailing coming out. But hopefully we can get some four faction heroes that are really, really worth us investing our summons into. Because if you're like me, you've saved up the ton. You're ready to dump it into something. Um, but I'm thinking the Asia release launch character with a big release could be coming up and we'll have to wait and see what it is. I mean, for a lot of those people that do want Mikola, I do hope that we can get her for you. But I don't know if that is the most logical choice for a character release uh, for a big launch. We'll have to wait and see. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think it is going to be McCulloch? Do you think, uh, you know, we're looking at something different? Um, I, I honestly don't know, but I'm hopeful that we're going to get something exciting. Now, the other thing that I hope this brings, uh, and I really do hope it does bring it, and I hope that what's sort of happened is that we've been sort of like the early, like I know we had the, the early access, the PTR for ages, but we, we've been like the early testing and they've been sort of saving everything to release more stuff with the bigger player base when it comes. For instance, we have not had a code in the game for so damn long and I don't know why. And I know codes are like never major things, but like if I look to AFK Arena, we normally get like, you know, three codes a month, something like that. You know, give you, give you a 10 pool, give you some summons, give you some like little premium currency, whatever it be. But it's just a very simple way to make people, you know, get excited just to go, oh, there's a code. I get to enter something in and get excited. Happy, happy days. So I do think that hopefully... Once we get that launch, it is going to bring a lot more activity into the game, not only for Asia launch, but also for all of us existing players. I hope we get more codes. I hope we get more events, uh, more exciting heroes, more fun stuff. I'm just looking at this, and this could be complete copium take, that we've been in the early access build until now. And then once we get the Asia launch, that's when we're in the actual full hype launch and everything starts rolling. Now, I am curious to see how they deal with like guilds and servers still. I do think that is an issue that I, I'm very curious on how they address um, because when we look to uh, Asia uh, region games, they're normally a lot more competitive and stuff like that. So I think the guild system, especially if they're going to have tons of servers, is going to be something that might have some issues once they like and and backlash from asia i'm not too sure we'll have to wait and see but in general normally when the uh especially the cn community complains around uh, a game that's developed by cn normally they complain about something shit happens real quick so i'm curious to see maybe we get some more adjustments and stuff if they jump in and they don't like it for instance 46 days that it took to unlock the season from the start of your server left a lot of people whales left them with like 15 days of nothing to do i wouldn't be surprised if that starts getting squished in and stuff like that but we will have to wait and see uh but once again let me know what you guys are expecting did you even know about the asia launch um because it is something that is quite exciting to me hoping that we can get uh, a lot more just excitement around the game and excitement inside the game with characters events just free shit hopefully 
hopefully they give us like just you know like the, they, they reach i don't know so many downloads and they give us free stuff i know it's not in our region but hey I'll take as much free shit as I can get. But anyway, guys, that was a bit of a rambling video just talking about what's coming up and my thoughts. Let me know what you think. As always, thanks for watching. Hope you have an awesome day and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next one. Cheers.